high pressure fuel pump. Whole lot easier to work on if you can get the fan out of the way, the fan shroud is in the way. What I do is I lift the fan shroud back against the engine so I can get at the fan. I've got an eight millimeter hex key stubby. I put some copper pipe on it to give it a nice long reach so I can get down there, get onto that bolt, hold the fan and break it loose. Once it's loose, reach behind it, turn that water pump pulley, take the belt off of course, turn that water pump pulley and holding the wrench until it comes, until the bolt comes out all the way. Once the fan's out of the way, then the shroud comes out of the way. It's got a couple clips on both sides. Not a big deal. You can figure that out, I'm sure. Now, once we've got that out of the way, we can get at the three bolts. There's one here. There's another one over here. And another one down underneath, blind, can't see it. That's the one you really can't get at without removing the fan. The other two are painted without that, but that bottom one is a real pain. In uh, you've got two wire clips, little one here, larger one here. That should have the 90 degree bend on it. Be sure that always does. If you mix this up with this one right here on the, uh, what is this? The uh, crankcase breather, the van won't start. Ask me how I know. 14 millimeter pulls these loose. Uh, what's that, an E11, I believe, back here? Loosens this so you can slide that fuel hose completely out of the way. Helps to hold that open there and jiggle it a little. There we go. Throw these on the floor. And then with those three bolts, everything unhooked, your two elbows are still connected here. If you've got the original clamps, it's going to take the C-click or click C hose clamps. That's what uh, Mercedes put on there originally. This is the pliers you need to open them and reuse them. Let's see if I can get this up here where you can see it a little better. Notice it's got this groove down underneath. Click R, click C hose clamp. It's gonna come unhooked like this. You put the little notch over the little nub like that and squeeze till it clicks. Boom. Now it's loose, everything comes off. When you want to put it back on, we're just going to turn the pliers over so the notch is on the flat side where the notch really doesn't do anything. And this long bar gets behind this little nub here, this back nub. So we're going to squeeze it all the way back here like this and squeeze it until it clicks. Click, there it is. Boom, boom. Break that loose again. Turn the pliers over, click it back on, just like that. Reusable hundreds of times. Getting back to the high pressure fuel pump. Sometimes it's easier to pull the pump off before you go after those hose clamps. Uh, here they were uh, replaced already with a seven millimeter. So I've gone ahead and pulled those off. And then the high pressure pump wiggles out we don't want to drop this piece right here some fuel is going to fall too bad so now we've got six bolts that come loose trouble with this pump is it's leaking fuel all along here spraying out and getting all along the side of the engine it's leaking all along this side right here it's the notorious six bolt fix. One, two, three, four, five, six. What we're gonna do is take each one out one at a time. A magnet is handy because they don't wanna fall out. They don't come out far enough. It's a captive bolt, so no matter how far they come loose, it can't fall out of the engine until you take the high pressure pump off. But they are magnetic. So they come right out, just a little dot of Loctite on it. Keep the cap on that and put that bolt right back. Repeat.
using a T30 bit for all of these screws. Just a, a dot of thread lock on every one. And torque it down good. We're going to let that Loctite set up. While you've got this pump off, it's a great time to replace those little rubber hoses. Well, the clutch fan is off, so you might as well replace that too. We're in pretty deep here, so now is a good time to take care of the water pump. And well, while we're losing all that antifreeze, taking care of the water pump, we might as well do the hoses too. And uh, well, now we've gone this far, I guess we might as well do the pulleys and belts as well, so we don't have to worry about any trouble up the road. If you like our content here at Florida Van Man, you can support us by liking, commenting, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell so that you get a notification every time we post a new video. In the description box of all of our videos, we also have links to our favorite products as well as links so that you can get your very own Florida Van Man merch. Your support keeps our vans rolling.